Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Zigwins 2. Um, before I start, I have a number of codes to give away in the competition, so if you're interested, as always, please check the video description for the rules on how to apply, and also check the comments and the comment section, and check the first comment or the old one, which will tell you again the rules, and at the top of the comment it will tell you if winners have been um, notified. If you are a winner, I will reply to your comment, say, winner. Okay, so um, Zigwins 2 is a fantastic app. Um, it's a, a sequencer, but not just only that, much more than that. You can control internal instruments on uh, your iOS device, or you can control also external hardware. It's quite unique, it's modular, and it has an approach that for each track you can create connectors to different instruments, which is it's really quite cool. In this first video, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration, a quick tour of the layout, not too detailed, and then we will progress on the tutorial and um, understanding how to create songs and composition using a sequence tool in the next video. So uh, what you can see at the moment on the screen is one of the internal demo, which is called um, Alpha Demo Edit, which uh, is what I already um, loaded up. And this is where you can see the track, so you can uh, uh, pinch in and out, so you can uh, zoom in as much as you need. Um, this is where you see actually your keyboard, so you can play some of the instruments which are selected. Okay, here where you see the connection of MIDI, you can choose different instruments. At the moment, these are mapped against Gadget. Indeed, this project is actually using Gadget as a, a sound source. Okay, so we can uh, play that instrument as well. So as you can see, for each of the instrument, you have different, you have a connection into gadget, you have different other options, which we will explore in the next video. You can, of course, load, save, etc. the usual uh, project management, uh, which you will see in the next video. You can set your uh, BPN, your ruler, um, if you want to repeat, uh, you, you can quantize while you're recording, you can have multi recording enabled, so the classical uh, uh, controls that you can see here for record, play and stop. Here you have your view with all the tracks, which is really nice. At the bottom you have additional options uh, like draw, insert, the selection, changing your view, etc, etc. So, but we will view those in more details uh, starting from the next video. So, I'm going to leave you with these, um, with the plane of um, this demo, which as I mentioned at the beginning, it uses Core Gadget. And to install it, you need to download the Core Gadget project and um, then unzip the, uh, the file, copy the, the projects inside the core gadget uh, folder, and then load that project inside gadget, which I've already done. And if you have done all of that, you have all the instrument, which is using inside um, that project, then you can play these fantastic demos. So I'm going to play now, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.